any situation of conflict world over, there's a time when people should be engaged. Dialogue is a principle which cannot be denied. I think dialogue is a matter of policy. <coughs> is a platform that can be used to resolve challenges of any nation. But however, the, the dialogue needs people that are serious. People that really wish to get a solution. Dialogue should be used as a way of trying to cover the people, cheat, do not produce favorable outcomes. In the world over, so many dialogues have been held, agreements have been signed, but less than 40% of those agreements have been fulfilled. What I'm trying to say is that if the president is serious about dialogue, he must be committed to resolve the problem. What we experienced last week was a result of the citizens that got fed up with the economic challenges of this country. The citizens reached a boiling point and organized themselves and went into the streets. They had no direct leadership at all, but people were fed up with what was happening in the country. The economic challenges of this country have been on the decline since 2000. People have been trying to talk to the government, but the government has been trying to, to, to be funny, to, to be clever. But you, you cannot run away from the people when people decide. So people decided last week to take action. If you look at it very closely, the shutdown that was called by the citizens in Zimbabwe was a form of engagement. It was a form of communication. The way trying to communicate to the government leadership. It's unfortunate that the government leadership don't understand the mode of communication. Instead of engaging the people of Zimbabwe, they took up arms to kill the people. They sent the rock elements of the youth to come and burn this building, arrest innocent people, maim and kill women and children bend down houses. That is unfortunate. A good leader would always want to listen to the same the voice of the people. But the voice of the people is that we want to engage you. What we actually see arresting of MPC people, MPs and civilians. It's a deliberate ploy, a way of destroy the MDC as a party trying to create a narrative that will end up uh, justifying the arrest of the leadership. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.